Hi, I'm Michael Hosker, and I develop products for Newmark, and this is an overview of the Newmark NS6. This is the second of a two-part NS6 overview. In this video, I'll be covering the browser and mixer. We have two effects engine on itch, and on the NS6, we have two effects um, groups of parameters to play with. So our right side, we have our effects B, left side effects A, and then on the mixer and the master, we have A and B assigns. So I'll go ahead and assign effects engine B to this deck two in the software and we'll start it. And we'll select a, an effect by using the encoder here. We'll find a little a high pass filter, push it, and you've selected that effect. Actually turn the effect on. And the parameter knob varies from effect to effect. In the filters, it's the resonance. So we'll go ahead and turn the resonance way up and we'll do a high pass sweep. And just kill the effect. If we want to combine effects, we just turn on the other effects assigned and go ahead and uh, select that effect on the left side. So we'll say, let's grab uh, Echo, turn the effect on, start bringing it up, turn on the high pass filter. And then turn the effects off by disabling the effect assigned or turning off the effects engine. So if we move over to the left of the deck, we have our browser controls up here, and we also have our booth and master gain knobs, and we also have our effects assigned for the master as well. The navigation controls are right in the center, and you have this push encoder here that allows you to select which crate you want to be in, and then the contents of the crate, and back and forth for getting in and out of the crates or playlists. Below that, we have our crate button, our prepare crate, which is a temporary crate, and then our file tree browser. And then below that is our load A and load B buttons and load to prepare. The prepare is just a temporary crate that you create on the fly. The NS6 is also a mixer as well, so you can hook up a pair of turntables or a pair of CD players and just assign which channel you want those inputs to be routed through. So if you go ahead and uh, assign a channel 2 to the phono input or line, you'll see in the software that the wave grays out if you have a, a track loaded to that deck in itch. And then you can just go back to USB, and it'll give you the wave display as well. Uh, it'll convert the wave back to a colored representation of the frequencies in Serato. On the left section, we have our crossfader assigns for all four channels. And we have our fader start and our crossfader slope. So you've got a nice uh, slow slope and then a very hard cut for scratching. 